Jewish Catholic Diocese is now facing more than three dozen new lawsuits tonight. In most of these lawsuits, priests are accused of molesting young children. But a woman we talked with today says this is not about the church. This is a story about survivors. Christian Garzon talked with her today. With the photographs of 19 accused clergy in 23 locations within the Diocese of Rochester named in lawsuits, victims say they are starting a new journey. Courthouse doors are now finally open with no statute of limitations. And this is exactly what we've, we and all of the survivors standing with us, both Pete and Chris, have been waiting for years to do. Pete Saraceno, who says he was sexually abused as an altar boy in the 1960s in Geneva, says the priest who molested him is, quote, a murderer of souls. I cannot imagine an experience more emotionally, psychologically, or spiritually damaging for a Catholic, damaging for a Catholic child, boy or girl, to have to endure. If there's a concern about child abuse, we need to be called. Deb Rosen with the Bavona Child Advocacy Center says child abuse goes beyond large institutions like the Catholic Church. When abuse happens, seeking immediate help should be the first step. So this is not just an urban problem. This is something that exists across all communities in Monroe County. Rosen says the conversation needs to stay consistent on the victims like Peter and not on large organizations being affected. And let's be celebrating their resilience and talking about their future as opposed to focusing on any particular institution. Rosen says this is a moment of real reckoning in New York State. It took many people a long time to fight for this right for justice. Now, some of the things that Anderson and Associates pointed out today, and again, they're just one firm of a number filing CVA suits. They say you can come forward and remain a John or a Jane Doe. Anonymous. In fact, many of the documents we read today were just that, John and Jane Doe's. Adam, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. As we were saying earlier, the CVA window gives victims of abuse like Peter one year from today to file a claim whenever that abuse may have occurred.